At CES 2016, some futuristic tech isn't as far out as you may think. I'm Bridget Carey, this is your CNET Update. It's been a busy few days here at CES, also known as the Consumer Electronics Show. We've seen interesting developments in smart home appliances, car tech, health trackers, and virtual reality. But now that the show is winding down, we're able to step back and think about the products that stood out and were really just so different, and dare I say, could change the future. When it comes to televisions, you expect to see things that are bigger, brighter, and thinner, but LG let us touch an OLED television that you could roll up like a piece of paper and slip into your bag. We're still a few years away from making this a realistic portable TV because you need to power it wirelessly and somehow have inputs for all of your cable or streaming things. The future of TV could also be made up of a bunch of smaller displays that seamlessly fit together to form one giant image. Samsung showed a concept screen that snaps together in different aspect ratios and that lets you build a larger TV than what's possible with current tech because, you know, the bigger you go, the harder it is to make. And we've all seen plenty of drones and quadcopters on the show floor, but what about a drone for you to ride in? Yeah, you as a person, you can sit inside of it. My colleague Ashley Escada checked out the e -Hang 184, which wasn't giving demo rides because of regulations, but the company says the eight rotors can carry you at 11,000 feet in the air at 65 miles an hour. You just sit in and tap the place on the map where you want to go, so you're not actually doing the driving. And you're not going to go too far because it has about 23 minutes of battery life. Apparently it has accomplished 100 successful man test flights so far. If you'd rather not actually be inside of a drone, there are other ways to feel like you're flying. The company Parrot has a drone that you can pilot while wearing a virtual reality headset. So you see the point of view of the drone while you fly it, like a real life video game. And what if a hoverboard could also be your home assistant? Intel partnered with Segway, which created a personal transportation device that transforms into a robot. And with Intel's real sense technology, it can quickly identify your face and answer the door, recognizing if your friends are at the door or if it's someone you don't know. It also reads the area instantly to not run into walls. It was one example of what can be done with Intel's fast processing chips, and they are testing out arms for this thing, so it could carry stuff for you. I just wanted to do some chores, but we're not the rosy level yet. Maybe next CES. Thanks for watching. You can catch up on all the highlights from the show at CNET.com slash CES. From the CNET stage at the Las Vegas Convention Center, I'm Bridget Carey.